Hello. It's, it's water here. Good morning. Nice to see you. I'm glad that you came back finally. All right. Well, this day got started off on a good foot. It's really important to have social interaction. It makes you feel all energized. I got caffeine pouring through my body. So I'm off to the store. Yeah. And I've got something in mind. Do you see all these flowers? I'm a sucker for flowers. I can't buy flowers. Help me. How am I supposed to stay single-minded? There's so much temptation around here. I was only gonna buy three plants, four plants. Okay, four plants. And why am I buying four plants, you say? Why is she buying four plants? Because I want to. And because it's instant gratification. Yeah, don't forget about that, that's great. Why? Because it'll cover up the mistakes I made in the garden this year. I just drop a few bucks here, and all of a sudden I'm a successful gardener, just like that. Wow. That's a tomato forest right there. Tomato forest. I almost fell into a pit, into a money pit. Don't buy annuals. Annuals only last a year. You plant them, they look nice for a day or two, and then they die, that's it. So it's like buying a scratch lotto ticket. I, I wouldn't advise it. Unless you have like lots of money and then do whatever you want to do. Hello, I made it back home, and guess what? I kept my focus, and I got just what I wanted, the four plants that I went there for. There was temptation everywhere. I almost bought, let's not talk about it. Well, let's talk about what I did get. I got a tomato called a mortgage lifter, and that's because it makes enough tomatoes that you that you don't have to pay your rent anymore. It lifts the mortgage on the house. And what else did she buy? I bought gargantuan, bigger than the moon, huge. I don't know, this was 72 days. And it doesn't matter because in 72 days, you will have forgotten what you planted and you won't remember that they're supposed to be big. You'll just be happy to see anything that's red on this plant. And what is this one you might say? What is this one? This is a lemon verbena. Yeah. You know what this is? This is the best imposter I've ever held on to. I've known a, a few imposters. Uh, anyway, this smells, if you close your eyes, you go, oh, thank you for the, oh, it smells like a lemon drop. Uh, I think that's a drink. Anyway, it smells like a lemon drop, and it's not. It's a lemon verbena that's dancing around, pretending to be a lemon. What is that? How do you, what is that? I, a plant that pretends it's a different plant? How does it even know the other plant exists? No plant just imitates another plant unless it has an agenda. I also bought a plant called Creeping Charlie, but that plant's gonna stay in my bedroom. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good idea, but I think it sounds like a good idea. It's funny, it's like, hello, who is it? Creeping Charlie. <laughs> so this, is what's happened with my sprouts. Do you see those? Of course you can see those. This is the spinach that I planted. I think they're a little bit too close together. This is called a skyscraper. That's a sunflower. This guy, this guy's not gonna scrape any skies. Oh, look, he still has his baby shoes on. I planted beets, which, as you can see, are just a little bit too close together. That was one of my mistakes. Well, and I will show you one of my disasters. Not proud of it. This was carnage by squirrels or rabbits or owls or pythons that got into all my little seed plantings and destroyed them. You got something nice and somebody just gets a little jealous and decides to stop all over it. Mel cartons. You take a pair of scissors 
and by magic, you cut the bottom out. And then you walk up to your vulnerable and, and pathetic little plants and you pop this down on top of them. And gently, gently, gently down over the plant. And just like that, you could hide it. Your plant has its own personal domain to be protected from the marauders of the night. And it can live to see another sunrise. Perfect. Of the number, number, and here is number two trick of the garden. You can take this netting that you can buy. It's called netting. Just wrap it like that. Put it over your plant. He doesn't know, or maybe he does. And then you just put your rocks or your mulch or whatever over the top of that, like that. That's, yeah. And you confuse the animals and the insects and the pythons and the owls and the squirrels. I'm tired of, I'm tired of gardening. I don't like it. I don't, it's too much dirt on. Let's just pretend I planted the plants that I bought. I'm tired of plants. I'm tired of gardening. I want to stop. I want to do something else right now. That's it. I'm done with it. And you know what that means? That means like if you like, like if you don't, subscribe. That would make the earth spin a lot better. That's a lie, don't listen to me. But it would make me a little happy. Okay, so that's enough of that. It's wilder out of here.